And we're out here doing 15 now, getting people to sign a petition to raise minimum wage from 7.25 to 15 an hour. Can you tell us your experience with working at minimum wage? Well, my experience, this is my first experience working for the school district, and I've been earning minimum wage now for about a year, working as a substitute food server. Um, I, what I learned about it is it's good for the experience, yes, but continuing, no. I will not come back in September to work minimum wage because the work that I've done is far from minimum. Um, I should get paid every bit of $10 and over for the position that I am working at this time. Um, also, it does not, the, the money does not, um, like I can't afford anything basically. <laughs> Bottom line, I can't afford a thing. It's like a welfare check. So really, I feel as though I'm working for a welfare check that I used to receive. And that's building my confidence but it's not helping my bills. Yes, I would like to add on to what she was saying. Working at minimum wage is bad for me because I like to earn a living. How am I going to earn a living by making $8.25 an hour? That's like being a slave, at, for real, for real. I'm, just, I'm an organizer from 15 now, um, which is a national campaign to raise the minimum wage to $15 an hour. Um, and you know, you can see that people really need 15 an hour. and. You know, it's not going to change unless we all are working together and out in the streets and organized because like politicians don't really listen unless you know there's lots of people out and demanding what they deserve. Thank you. Different, different issues and concerns. I'm finding, I'm so, finding many, so many different mentality, different mentality today. It seems, it seems hard. hard. It seems, it seems challenging. I don't say hard because the only thing hard is the concrete that we walk on. Everything else is a